Today we're in LA and we're launching the new Land Rover Defender family. Uh, and today we're going to be talking to the key members of the press uh, in America because uh, this is the first time that the, the Defender's been here for over 20 years. We stopped production of it over 20 years ago. Um, later tonight we're going to be bringing a lot of customers here to see the car for the first time. So it's very exciting, of course, America is a very important market for us. I'm very proud to be re revealing this vehicle full stop. You know, it's a global vehicle. Um, it represents the work of many talented designers, engineered, and engineers that work tirelessly to bring this fru fruition. So I'm very proud to be representing them. Talk about the 90 to begin with, the three door. If you, first of all, if you look at it in, in, in side view, it does have a very distinctive silhouette, which is a modern interpretation of the original. Uh, its proportions have been optimized to achieve well-balanced design, but also achieve supreme all-terrain capability. So very short rear overhangs, front and rear, and a high, and a high sill. Its line work has a horizontal emphasis, lower roof line, waistline, shoulder line, which is contrasted by the sheer verticality of the rear, upright nature of the front. This is to give the vehicle a planted appearance, purposeful. When you look at the front of the vehicle, it, its face communicates strength and confidence, um, which is as emphasized by the very clean, reductive, modern grille design and bumpers, and then those beautiful, simple geometric forms of what are very technical headlamps. Beautifully sculpted front fender, which runs a whole length of the body side and uh, emphasizes the clean uh, body side section. Moving to the rear, the most notable thing is the sheerness of the cutoff at the rear, which is done to minimize the rear overhang. Um, and there's a strong corner also to aid aerodynamics and emphasize its strong shoulder. You'll notice the spare wheel is fitted to the back because it's a defender, and that again maintains that rear overhang. And the simple lights, geometric lamps at the back, they really communicate the simple, honest, no-nonsense design that Defender is all, all about. That's the three door. The five door uh, measures, in American terms, it measures uh, just over, just under 14 and a half, 15 and a half feet. So it's an increase in size over the 90, which is about uh, 14 feet. And, and that's been done to, to give you the extra door, the five door, and to accommodate a bigger package to give you three row seating. It still maintains a very well balanced design. Um, and in every other respect, the three door and the five door are the same design. We have a very um, uh, defined design philosophy, which is at the core of everything we do, whether it's a Range Rover, a Discovery or a Defender. So when it came to designing the new Defender, and of course there's great anticipation for it, it was a really a case of following that design strategy, recognizing the fact that the Defender you know, was designed and engineered many, many years ago, because this was about creating something for a new generation, something that was relevant and modern. So it was a case of looking back at the old Defender and acknowledging it, but being firmly pointed forward. It's about taking its essence and capturing it in terms of a modern interpretation. Our desire is always to get the balance between excellent design and engineering integrity. And that could be reconciled. And I think the Defender is a very good example of that. When you look at the proportions, they're optimized to give you a, a well-balanced, attractive design, but they, they also give you supreme all-terrain capability. The new Defender is, we're not gonna suddenly start designing our Range Rovers or our Discoveries in a different way. This is the DNA for Defender, and that, was, that will evolve as time goes on. We've got an established design direction for, defect for Range Rover, which you start to see that manifest itself in the Velar and the, and the new Evoque, and you'll see it in the next generation Range Rover. The Discovery can probably become more defined now that the Defender is here. So there's specific design DNAs for each that evolve naturally. We've worked with, with the Bond movie franchise, and, and really we haven't done that much to it because this vehicle is incredibly capable anyway. It's the toughest, most capable Land Rover ever built. And I think when you see the film when it eventually comes out, and you see what they do with the Defender, you'll see that what I've said there is absolutely true.